The official champion theme for Fiddlesticks, The Ancient Fear, uncovered the development behind Fiddlesticks' haunting visual update and the making of League's most terrifying champion. Okay, this has lyrics, too. But very... Very few lyrics. So this is... All right, I'm already feeling creepy just by the lack of lyrics. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> I'm going to look at it from a music production perspective as I usually do on my main videos. Um, oh, you guys are saying happy birthday. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. My birthday sucked. My birthday sucked. That was supposed to be longer. That's what she said. Wait, what? All right, I screwed that up. Um, but yeah, I, I was sick on my birthday, which is kind of lame. So, uh, yeah, and it was really cold. I don't know what that has to do with that. Okay. Fiddlesticks, the ancient fear, champion theme. On my main channel right now, this is like a very, very popular request. So this is a, uh, this is big. Let's go. When fears like calm and wind stand still and hold. Run home as the crows make night of the fair. Bro, this is giving me super horror movie trailer vibes. The only way it would be creepier is if it was a little kid singing that vocal instead of a grown woman. That would make it like a lot creepier. But this is really, really strange. Don't look behind. Yeah, honestly, if, if I read that message right now that said, Joey, don't look behind you. And I was listening to the music at the same time. I probably would have got a little freaked out and got a little bit of chills. Those, that main sound that you hear in the background, that screech is just, it, it's a bow from, you know, the, um, just any kind of string instrument. It could be, you know, uh, a violin or um, probably a violin with the sound of that screechy, but it's just like, it's like nails on a chalkboard type of effect they do with the instrument to get that eerie screechy sound. Nothing sounds like in tune, even their little vocal they had together when the two vocals came together and they were stacked up, they were like, it was a really unsettling harmony because the vocals are too close to each other. As the crow Make night of the fading Ooh. sun. Ooh, that, that, that was kind of nice, though. That was kind of nice. That was kind of soothing right there. Fading. Like, she, like, went, like, with her little her little riff right there. I can't sing like that, so, but. Of the fading sun. That almost had, like, R&B elements to it. This doesn't hide now. All right, so we, bro, this dude looks f***ed up. What the hell is this? He has a razor blade uh, on his head. He has some janitor keys around his neck. He's got a some kind of weird axe looking thing for a arm no he's holding an axe bro what is this he has a nail just sticking straight through <laughs> his foot and the nail is like as long as his arm bro this is this is some wildness Sith? Is that what it's called? I'm uploading this to the main channel, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's sample worthy. That's sample worthy right there. Mm -hmm. 
that's dope. And it sounds like that strumming instrument is a guitar, but I don't think it's a guitar. But it's in that family. It's in that category. It's not a dulcimer. I can't think of what it is. But there's a low bass playing in the background, just sustained. This is dope. Now there's a guitar in there. That sounds like a ukulele, actually. Like those high notes. Ding, ding, ding. Like, I think that's a, a ukulele of sorts. Because this reminds me of the eeriness of uh, the movie Get Out. When the brother, like, when um, the main character went, goes back into the house. And the brother of the, the, the brother of the girl that he was dating <laughs> was just playing like this really creepy melody on a, a ukulele. I think it was a ukulele before he went back in the house. Like he was on the porch playing this and it was like really eerie. That's kind of what that reminded me of here. And now this is a higher pitched vocalist too. So this kind of falls into the more category of like, or the aesthetic of like a little kid singing this and it's creepier. It's the child, okay. Mm, the rise. Standard bass line. They did this. Ooh, the trembling string there. This almost sounds like a broken choir sample right here that I, I cut it off. But I wanted to say I'm glad they had that brass come in because they could have easily been like brass might be a little bit that might sound a little bit cheesy for this type of song here. Like it's supposed to sound nightmarish. Usually brass instruments aren't in any kind of like nightmarish sounding songs or uh soundtracks or anything like that but they said now nah, let's cross that boundary let's let's make it a nice blend of cinematic and horror and i like that they did that right there mm. Woo! pictures make it creepier <laughs> What? Let me play that back. <laughs> Let me play that back. They did like a little side chaining thing where it was like ducking in and ducking out and they chopped it up. Chopping? Does he chop people up? Does he, does he, does he hurt people in that manner? Is that what happens? See, it was like... It's almost like... The calm before the storm. They're using a scream as an instrument. That is dope. Ah! <laughs> like that is that is creative. They almost made this EDM. This is amazing. I'm waiting for the last second, seeing if anything's gonna jump out, jump out at me or something. All right, so basically the vibe that I got from this is something is like creeping up on you, or you know you're in danger, or you're being warned that you're in danger, 
And then all of a sudden, at the end, uh, he strikes. You know what I mean? And the way they accomplish that is by making the music. The music is kind of smooth. It's still unsettling, but it's smooth. Then it starts to get choppy. Then you hear this little, like, string that's very, um, very quiet in the background, very tucked in the back. Where can I find it? Oh, my God. Right here. Like, damn it, Iron Man. <laughs> Lord Oration. Uh, Lord Oration? Appreciate the follow. Like, those little strings right there. And that string almost sounds like a knife sharpening or something right? like that, right? I get kind of like a blade aesthetic from that. And then it just explodes, which is the attack. Nice string in there, too. Mm, just like, oh, man, that's just all hope is lost type vibe right there. That is, uh, that was fire. I can see why so many people were requesting that one. I rock with that one. Hopefully my reaction sufficed. For what people were looking for but um yeah watch the short cinematic film of him it's like one it's, it's like a movie that sounds dope i'm not gonna watch it on here i'm too scared i'm just gonna watch it i'm gonna enjoy it with you guys we could watch this together i'm even just gonna put on the display here Countryside's on edge after Fuss Barrel. Yeah, filthy mages. <laughs> they show up here. They show up here, and I'll come. Tedric? Hey, Tedric! Help me! Help me! Tedric! Oh, nah, that helped me it was unsettling, bro. Thanos. Dang, I didn't realize he was that tall. Oh! 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 He's like a roach. He's that fast. Yeah. About to kill the beat too soon. Back to my old ways in the new room. Everybody think what they got is so flawless. You can see the blemishes as soon as you zoom. Me, I still got a lot to prove. Stand up for myself like a new broom. Cause people think I'm about to disappear if I move. So I hate to break into you like a newsroom. Hey, now I'm about to kill that beat. 